Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. Sorry that you can see my curtains in the background. I'm actually quite zoomed out but this was like the most I could zoom out really because as you can tell I have a bunch of binders here because I am doing a updated photo card collection. The last one was like quite a lo long time ago I think believe like definitely over a year ago. Yeah I thought let me just do an updated one because a lot has changed. As you can tell, if you watched my first uh, photo card collection, then you can definitely tell the difference now. Because in my first photo card collection video, I only had like three of these big binders. But now I have upgraded to one extra big binder and now three A5 binders. So I'm very excited to show you guys uh, my collection. You guys are probably going to be disappointed in the lack of progress in my non and hypen photo card collection, if that makes sense. Because... I've mentioned a couple of times already, but I've been caught on quite like an album buying ban. Well, not really a ban because I have been buying albums, but like, like the last year, just maybe like one, two or three that weren't Unhypen. And the rest was obviously Unhypen because Unhypen is basically the only group I collect and they are like my ults. I've added some extra um, like idols I collect in my collection, but I'm going to talk all about it in a bit. So this is probably going to be a very long video. So grab a snack, grab something to drink, and I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get going. So first, let me explain like what is in what binder, if that makes sense. So let me actually start with the A5 binders over here. Because you sort of kind of already know the drill about uh, the big binders. So this little binder over here is uh, my Harua binder. I collect Harua from N-Team. But I also have Wonjun from Elast in here. But I'm going to talk all about this in a bit. So this is basically my Harua and Wonjun binder. This is my boy group A5 binder. And I actually just put a filler in this because I... Uh, because I actually realized that I haven't. And <laughs> ironically enough, it's an N-Team freebie. Even though N-Team has like another binder. But anyways, I've put an N-Team freebie for my boy group binder. And this is my A5 girl group binder. And this is just this random Irene. I think it's an actual photo card, but looking at it, I got it as a freebie. So I don't think it's an actual photo card, but more like a replica. So, but I decided to put this as a nice filler for my A5 girl group binder. And then I have these very big ones, obviously, my holy grail, my Enhypen photo card binder, where I have all my album photo cards, Weaver's Pops, Lucky Draws, etc, etc, of Jungwon and Heesung. And this mint green one is actually a new one to the edition, and it's like my Enhypen merch binder. And I decided to get a separate binder for my merch PCs because it was just getting too full in here and there just really wasn't any space so I just thought let me just grab a new one I know these all don't have like a front I know I should still make one for all of those but I'm just too lazy and then this big white one is my boy group binder like my big boy group binder and then the pink one is my big girl group binder but I'm gonna explain all in a bit how I organized everything so I think let's go start with the big binders Okay, let's go first start with my Enhypen photo card binder because I actually watched my last photo card collection video yesterday just to see what changed and definitely a lot has changed. So let's open it up. So I have completed all Enhypen eras from uh, Border Day 1 up to Manifesto Day 1. Dark Blood has just begun and I actually received my Dark Blood albums today and unboxed all of them and I also stored away some photo cards right away so you guys will also be seeing those. I'm not going to talk too much about the photo cards because I really felt like in my last video I already talked about a lot of these photo cards anyway so I'm not going to go into depth uh, with them just gonna flip through the pages and show you guys my photo cards so Yes, this is John One Border Day One together with this Border Hakanai photo cards. In the beginning, I was like, I'm not gonna collect all Japanese photo cards because I really feel like Japanese photo cards are uh, harder to collect compared to Korean photo cards. So I only have his solo jackets and one of the standards. And that's basically the rule I always kept up until Sadame because that's when I actually decided to collect more photo cards. But I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. So this is Border Day One, John One and Hisung. Oh my god, I remember in my last photo card collection, this didn't arrive yet. But the fact I have it, I'm so proud of it. And I know this like a very, very, very high demand photo card of Heeson. Like, I don't know why. Because even non Heeson collectors want this one. Is it because of the specs or his pose? I don't know. But like, I'm so happy I got it. So yeah. And this is my Border Carnival collection of Jungwon and Heeson. Dimension Dilemma, basically same story. 
and this is Dimension Answer and uh, Dimension Senko, like the second Japanese album. So yeah, basically here as well, I decided not to collect all the photo cards, just the limited A, limited B, and at least one of the standards, and both solo jackets. So that's what I did, and like since there obviously was a lot of space left because of Dimension Answer, because there were like only like four photo cards in total per member, so I decided to just make like this. I know people like to keep different eras on uh, separate pages, but I was like, you know, let me just combine it. Same what I did with like Border series, you know, just put Hakanai at the bottom, even though Border Day 1 was there. So and you guys are also going to see that with Manifesto Asadame in a bit. And this is Hisun, basically same story. Oh yeah, this was what I was talking about. So this is the Manifesto Asadame pages. So I completed all obviously all eras apart from dark blood because the era obviously just begun so yeah this is my manifesto collection and over here are the cinema pcs and what i did this is limited a i believe and this is one of the standards and the solo jackets and they had like obviously two different concepts so i decided to put it like this so this these are the standard uh, pcs of manifesto and then over here you have the engine versions so these are the PCs with the engine versions, and I actually put a different version of Sadame, like, over here. So they have Limited B, a standard, and also the other solo jacket. And I actually like that I organized it like this, even though the backs, actually you can tell, it's not pretty. I know it's not cute, but you know what? I was like, let's make, let's use the space well, you know? So I was like, I'm just gonna organize like this, and I actually really, really like how this looks. So yeah, also the same with this one. Very nice. And then the same story for Heeson, really. So over here, I have the Weavers album PCs of Manifesto. And these PCs are actually the Weavers Japan album and UMS album version photo cards of Saturday, if that makes sense. I actually also wasn't in planning at all to collect these, but I was like, you know what, I want to like you know fill up this page so i was like you know what let me just also get the weavers japan and ums pcs of sadame so i put them here as well i actually also really wasn't intending for us to collect the weavers album pcs of manifesto but i was like you know what i just want to collect them because i actually did pull both hisung's pcs and that one obviously it's a qr code of the group you get in every album yeah i was like you know what let me just fill up the page and i love how it turned out so i don't know if i'm actually also going to do the same with the, ne the next japanese comeback i'm not even sure all about it to be honest but yeah there's a there has actually been a lot on my mind going on when it comes to like trading and collecting but i Think that's gonna be a story for another time and maybe i'll tell you guys in a vlog or i because i don't know i'm just still thinking about a lot when it comes to trading and trading and collecting nowadays so yeah but i'm gonna talk about it on a different video not now and this is basically the start of my dark blood page i actually posted a video where you could see me setting up for this so you guys probably know how i set this up if you watched my video and like i mentioned earlier my dark blood albums came in today so i already put the photo cards in there as you could tell i didn't pull a single jungwon in my photo book versions which is quite sad but yeah anyways these are from the is uh, engine versions well actually the concept photos of the engine versions were obviously random but I actually got all seven versions of the NG version, so I got all seven members and I managed to pull them once. So I hope I can complete all the album photo cards uh, during this summer. So, and this is Heesung's page. Obviously, you can tell I actually did pull some Heesung in the photo book versions, which is great. So, yeah, also still a long way to go. And these are Heesung's uh, NG versions. I actually love this photo card, it's so super cute, like, like this. And I also was able to pull Heesung's. Um, concept picture in the engine photo book version so and then okay so i actually needed to put fillers in here but i didn't feel like it okay but this is actually like the weavers album page so i didn't set up for the weavers album page because when i was filming my setup for the album photo cards the weavers album version wasn't up for pre-order yet and so that back then i wasn't even sure like what was going to be there and stuff but i also didn't feel like making a separate video about how i set up for the weavers album version because like why so yeah i did manage to pull one of john one's photo cards in the weavers album version because i know john one has two and then and now with the weavers album version you actually do get all the seven uh, concept photo cards so i put john one's and he's in here so i'm actually going to put John one's second photo card here and then also two of his songs and then i have the 
OT7 uh, like QR code photo card. So the QR code is actually on the back for the Weavers album. But I actually do want to get also the other two uh, OT7 photo cards just to fill up this page. And I think it would look very cool. So yeah, this is also still a work in progress. Okay, so what I actually did with the remaining photo cards of the other members, because I actually don't collect the other members, obviously. But hey, I got their engine versions as well, so I obviously got their photo cards. Instead of like putting them up for sale or like just putting them away in the album, I decided just to make a separate page with a filler in the middle, as you can tell, just for those photo cards. And I also have Jake, Sungun, and Sanu's concept photo cards, which I actually pulled. I actually pulled duplicates of Jake and Sanu. I pulled everyone apart from Jay and Nikki, but I'm not gonna even bother to find them. So I was like, you know what? Let me just put them in here and just like a leftover page, if that makes sense. But I actually really like this and I just put a filler in the middle. So I actually like how this turned out. If I actually did pull Jay and Nikki as well, then it obviously wouldn't fit on this page. So I'm actually glad it worked out like this. So yeah, this is like the leftover page. And then this is where all the Weavers pops begin. I actually reorganized it because the last time it definitely didn't look like this. But that's also because I finally decided to get the uh, Border Carnival pops. Someone was selling them for a good price. So I was like, you know what, uh, why not? There's nothing in here. I don't even know if I'm going to put anything in here. This is basically the uh, Weavers pops of the Border series. Maybe I'm going to put the Border Hakanai pops there if I can find them. But I'm obviously not like in a rush to find them. So yeah, and this is like the Dimension Dilemma page. I could find a Heeson Target exclusive because this is John Wan's, but I'm I'm not really bothered. Like there's really no rush to it. And I maybe should also put fillers in here because yeah, this is basically the Dilemma page. And then this is the, this whole page is full of Dimension Answer Pops, like all their Korean Weavers Pops. So like, this is all like, oh no, wait, this is all round one. These are the Target exclusives. And these like are from the round two. So yeah, and this is like the Manifesto and Dark Blood page. So these are the Weaver's Pops from Manifesto of Jungwon and Heesung. And these are Jungwon and Heesung's Target exclusives. And I actually did pull these today. And I'm actually so glad I actually did manage to pull Jungwon and Heesung's Weaver's Pops. Like, I was so scared I would have to trade for them. And I actually also pulled Jay, which is a bonus. Like, actually, normally I would, like, sell Jay, Jay but... I don't know, to be honest at this point, maybe I'll just keep him just like he can, just so he can fill up the page, you know, if that makes sense. But yeah, so this is basically the page. I actually don't think I'm going to be collecting the Target exclusives for a Dark Blood. Like, do they have Target, target exclusive photo cards now? Maybe they, they will. Like, they have been doing them almost every comeback, really, since I mentioned that dilemma. So yeah, but like, Target exclusives are so hard to find, especially since I live in the Netherlands. We cannot just, we don't have a Target here where we where we can just go and pull the Target exclusive photo card. Like, so yeah, I honestly don't know, but I don't think I will, I will be collecting them. So yeah. And these are the Weaver's Pops that I got with my Engine version albums of the Dark Blood. So I decided to put them all in here. I hope you can see, like, yeah, I know Sungun's like upside down, but or else like, it wouldn't be like, you know, even if that makes sense. So sorry, Sangun, you're upside down for now. But yeah, and this was also this random lent lenticular, which I decided to, to put there. But yeah. And this is actually my Weaver's Japan page. So all the Weaver's pops I have from Weaver's Japan, I just put them here. Like, I decided to make a separate page because I felt like I had quite a lot of pops from Weaver's Japan, which I just bought randomly, either off Makari or... Uh, on Instagram, so I was like, you know what, let me just make a page for it. And this is like my uh, Yeezy U, like Yeezy U, it's like the Chinese store, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I also made a separate page for their like pops, like I'm not like actively collecting them, but if I find them for a good price, I just get them. So I have these Border Day 1, and also He Sung's Yeezy U Border Carnival. I'm not even going to try to look for John Wons, the one with the teddy bear, like everyone wants it. If I happen to stumble upon it for a good price, I'll obviously get it, but yeah, I'm not even going to try. I, I'm already traumatized by never ending searching for He Sung Hakanai glasses, so yeah. And this is just like a random pop page, so everything that's not Weavers or Yeezy U or anything like that. So I have some Sonara. Uh, I believe these are Yes24, and this is... Oh, wait, this is actually a broadcast PC, which I actually bought not too long ago. 
and i decided to just put it here because i really felt like i don't know where else to put it really so this is basically the only broadcast pc i own from the manifesto era and it's he sings very nice so oh yeah guys by the way about the sonora pops i know like there is very bad controversy about sonora but just to clear, clear it up i didn't buy directly from sonora themselves that i got the pops like i just basically bought it from other people like so i didn't get it from Sen sonora themselves so please don't cancel me so yeah and this like the lucky draw pages this is dimension dilemma lucky draws I actually only missing he sung from round one of the odysseus version like i don't remember exactly on top of my head which story it is but it's like obviously i like to have lucky draws from, from the big three stores if that makes sense like mtu power station and soundwave but yeah i'm actually only missing he sings but i'm actually not sure at this point if i'll act if i'm gonna still keep looking for it and then these are the round two pops and i'm only missing he sings uh of the like oh no wait the blue the other one was charybdis my apologies this one's odysseus version like charybdis was the other one i was missing but odysseus i was looking for that one and I actually do have a He Sung uh, Hype Inside Lucky Draw here from the Dimension Dilemma era. I saw it for a good price. So I was like, you know what? Let me just put it in here. So I decided to put it here because they didn't do OT7 Lucky Draws for round two. So I was like, you know what? Let me just put it here. And these are the Lucky Draws from Dimension Ansa era. And I got all of them, as you can tell. And I have some fillers over here. And these are the Lucky Draws from Manifesto Day 1. This is actually round two. And yes, guys... <laughs> I still have not completed round two. Like it, like it has been almost a year, really, and I literally cannot blame the group order manager because it was the whole situation was definitely out of her control. So that's why I also got this one uh, quite late. But then I joined another group order, who's like the first group order manager was actually the proxy of the second group order manager if that makes sense but since the second group order manager had to wait a long time for the first one to send out to her that's why um i'm actually still waiting on like the rest because i actually claimed the rest of the lucky draws at the second group order manager but yeah i really hope uh, i can get these pretty soon as well so i can finally com have round two complete i'm actually glad i was able to find the ot7 lucky draws of round two very easily so yeah but i really hope i can finish this page soon like when it comes to lucky draws i actually don't think i'll be collecting lucky draws from the dark blood era i've already seen group orders for the lucky draws already but it's just i don't know like obviously since i don't have a job anymore well i actually do have a job like i have a part-time job but like i don't have like a full-time job anymore compared to last year so i really feel like i have to save money and stuff and i cannot keep joining group orders constantly and since i'm going to korea like hopefully to korea in the end of august i obviously cannot join certain group orders because maybe certain things won't arrive on time before i go to korea and stuff like that so i'm like you know what let me just not join any group orders like this summer at all like or for the time being and just keep it like this so yeah and the rest of this uh, binder is basically like postcards so let me just go through it like these are the border day one postcards these were like a uh, first edition only um inclusions of dimension dilemma so it was like this how do you say it nightball like <laughs> cards where it basically shows the members positions and stuff so it was part of their like dark moon webtoon so yeah and these are like the bookmarks of dimension answer era and these are the postcards of the manifesto era very nice and then these are like lenticulars, which were like weavers pops. Oh wait, let me show you guys properly. Like this is Jungwon with like the uniform version because she had different versions. And then the Hisung version. And then I have like this other version, both uh, lenticulars, which I got from either buying or just trading with other people. And here are the postcards for the Dark Moon, Dark Moon, <laughs> Dark Blood era. So I actually did manage to pull John ones in in the full version. So yeah, I'm obviously collecting postcards as you could tell. So I hope I can get these soon. And these are the postcards from the engine versions. So I just obviously got them. And then on the back, I actually have John Won and He Sung's like character postcards from the their Dark uh, Moon webtoon. These are actually like 
uh, apart with the other members' postcards as well, part of the Weaver's uh, Pops when you order the Dark Blood album on there. I actually got the postcard set two times because I also got the engine versions, but I have Jungwon and Heesung's characters, Jaka and Haley. Uh, postcards. I didn't put the other members in there because because I actually only collect John and Heesung. So yeah, I actually really love these pictures, especially like Jongwon's character, like so cool. And also really love Heesung's character as well. I actually really love the webtoon. So yeah, that was actually it for the Enhypen like album era photo card binder so let's now go grab the merch binder of enhypen okay so this is the merch binder of enhypen let's open it up and it starts with the photo cards of their first light stick like i'm calling it first because i don't know if, if they're gonna like bring out like second or third editions in the future you know just like bts and other groups do but this is like the photo card set of their first light stick the first season's greetings and i have nikki's id card like I, I could trade it for Jungwon and Heesung, but I just really couldn't be bothered at this point. And then I have the 2022 since greetings, and I actually do have Jungwon and Heesung's uh, IDs. I bought them for good prices. And this is the 2023 um, season's greetings photo card set, so OT7 and group. And these are actually... Okay, this sounds very funny, but these Dark Moon like uh, deck cards... Uh, I joined a group order for them because, like, the, the Dark Moon, like, playing game cards, deck cards, you know, were actually part of their merch. Like, I don't know if it was, like, a limited thing. I think, I believe it was a limited thing. Like, it was part of their pop-up store, I believe, during the Manifesto tour in Seoul. There were those, like, deck card game thingies. And I joined a group order for Jaka and Hailey, so Jungwon and Heeson's characters. And I got them, and I think it looks so super, super cute, so that's why I just put them in my binder. So I have Heesung's character here, Jungwon's, and then the group order manager also gave like leftover cards of like other characters as well. So like Suha, Tarden, and then like the Jack, Queen, and King like cards, and then the A card as well, and like just divided them over their over her joiners. So that's why I have Suha's card over here. And since like two, seven, nine, I was like, you know what, let me just put it in order. So that's basically the thing. Yeah, and I think it looks really, really cool. And then I have the N-Connect. Yeah, N-Connect photo cards here. I have Jungwon's whole set. Like with his solo cards, special cards, unit cards, and also like these ones. And I actually also have recently finally completed Heesung's full set. So his set and then the special photo card. And then also the unit cards and like these special cards. So yeah, I, could, like, I finished it not too long ago, which I'm actually very happy about. And what I really like about these photo cards, and these are the Enconnect, yeah, Enconnect Companion. Which what I like about these photo cards is just they're just so cheap. People literally sell them for one or two euros. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just get them because why not? And I actually don't plan on like actually completing the whole sets. Like I'm just like if I find them, I get them. So I have Jung ones over here with some of his things. I like to put them in order of the numbers because that's just how I like to do it. And then this is mostly, yeah, this is actually all Heesung, including his units. And then I have one over here as well. And actually, these are Heesung's Anniversary 2022? Oh, yeah, these are both Anniversary 2022 photo cards. I just got them for fun. I saw them on Marktplatz, which is like a Dutch marketplace website. So I just bought them. And then these are the Manifesto Tour merch photo cards. So I have Jungwon's whole set, I believe. I believe this is the whole set. So yeah, like also with the special photo card and this other special photo card. Yeah, I got Jungwon's whole set. And I have Heeson here as well, but not like his whole set. Because I actually did want to buy his full set as well. But it was already sold on uh, Macari. So I was like, you know what, let me just buy them separately. So... I have some, I haven't completed it yet. I don't know if I even managed, ever managed to complete them, but yeah, this is just what it looks like now. And these are like other merch photo cards. Like I believe these are all like um, hoodie photo cards. Yeah, I think this was from the hoodie of Manifesto, but these two. And this was like from the pillow, neck pillow, like from quite a long time ago. And also got Jungwon and Heesung's like mushy mushy cards. These were part of their Manifesto tour merch in Japan. 
and i saw my Makari. i thought it was pretty cute like on the back there's like this japanese phone number which you can call too but i think it only works when you're in japan and you're actually have a japanese phone number but yeah i thought it was pretty cool and then these are like all google package photo cards i actually didn't get the google packages ever like so not even like the newest google package like i never just got them because i just literally don't have space for them in my room yeah and i was like you know what i just really don't need them anyways but i actually do like the photo cards and also the google package photo cards are also quite easy to find for good prices so that's why i also got these and these are like also like special photo cards i believe so of the google package so yeah but this is like the progress so far and these are like uh, photo cards of the 2022 Google package. And then these is like a random uh, page. Like I have these from the 2021 Christmas edition. Yeah, the little wishes collection of Anhypen. So you had like different kinds of merch during the holiday season at that time. And it all came with separate photo cards. I didn't get the merch. I just bought the photo cards online. Because I thought it was very cute. So let me just have them. And these are the pieces of memories on top of my head yeah pieces of memories i also didn't get one i just bought the photo cards and then i have these ones like i think these two are like fan made and i found them on like uh makari and i was like you know what let me just get them since they were also like quite cheap anyway and apparently these are fan made because i didn't find them on any templates but i was like you know what but i don't know where this one is from actually like it's like a wallet photo card or i don't know where's this from but it was also quite cheap on makari so i also got it and these are Jungwon's special photo cards of his uh, latest birthday. It was it was called yeah special gifts club. So now with uh, all and hyper members' birthday this year, they do like the special uh, what's called again special gift club. So you have this photo card set. I think I believe you have more photo cards like when you bought the bracelet or stuff like that. But this is the set I got from Makari. Very nice. I don't know. Like I obviously have to wait a long time for Hisung's birthday because his birthday is not until November. Maybe I'll also get his sync set, I don't know. And these are like Hype Insight um, photo cards. Wait, let me just, yeah. These are Hype Insight photo cards. I got Jungwon's and his sings. And this is like from the anniversary set of 2021. This is Jungwon's set. Do I see? Yeah, these are from Hype Insight as well. And then I have these Manifesto lent Lenticulars, which are also part of the tour merge. Very cool. Oh, and over here, this is like a membership photo card. Yeah, I think it's a membership photo card. But I put it in here because it was just too big. So I was like, you know what? Let me just randomly put it in here. So yeah, that was actually it for the merch binder. So let's go on to the uh, other big binders. So this white one is the big boy group binder. And basically, here are like boy groups that I have a lot of photo cards of. Yeah, I'm just going to open it and you... I'll just tell you guys all about it when I show it. So this is BTS. I'm not going to talk uh, uh, in too much detail because I already did that also in my last video. But yeah, these are my BTS photo cards. I don't get all the versions of the BTS albums. I, I think I, yeah, I own at least one version of each album, but I don't own their newest one, like Proof. Yeah, the last BTS album I actually got was Butter. I also don't have the solo albums of the members. Because, yeah, like I said, the past year was like quite a phase where I wasn't really like buying albums anymore. So, yeah, let me just go through it. So, this is BTS. And this is TXT. Actually, uh, Bobby and Treasure also used to be here, but I actually took them out and <laughs> downgraded. No, I don't want to call it downgraded. I just moved them to my small binder, but I'm going to explain it all in a bit. So, this is TXT. There was a time I was also collecting TXT's albums, so it actually stopped after Blue Hour era. But actually, I'm really considering to uh, keep up with their discography again and buy all the albums from, like, the Blue Hour era. Like, so I think the era after Blue Hour was, yeah, the Chaos Chapter Freeze. So from that, I'll just buy albums of TXT again. Because I actually really do miss buying TXT albums, and they have been releasing very good music. I've been loving all their albums, so I guess I should buy them. So yeah. And these are Stray Kids. It's, there was also a time where I was collecting Stray Kids, all our albums, because they were actually my ults together with BTS for a while. But yeah, I also stopped after which era? Yeah, In Life. That's when I also stopped buying albums. But yeah, this is like my Stray Kids collection. Very cool. And 
and i actually do have some pops from no easy like these ones and uh photo card sets i actually got them at the music store when i was buying albums of other groups already and it just gave me for free so even though i don't have the no easy albums um i just got them same with like christmas evil i have their photo card pre-order set but yeah and i actually do have some pops from maxidents these are the apple music pops and i also got these uh, at the music store like i only got four of them and i actually bought hyunjin and hans when i was buying photo cards the other day on marktplatz like the dutch marketplace site so like yeah you know what let me just get them i don't know if i'm actually going to be completing this whole thing but i was like you know what if i just happen to find linos and who else am i missing felix if i just happen to find them i'll just get them but yeah these are my maxidem pops and this is like my sm entertainment page like what i like to do and i also explained that in my last video is like put like artists of the same label like together on one page and like so that's just also sort of a rule i implemented in my like small binders but i'm gonna get to that once we get to my small binders so i have exo shiny super junior here yes you can see right i don't have nct because that's because i don't have any nct albums like i have nothing against nct like don't get me wrong i really love them it's just i don't have any albums of them maybe i should get them as well i don't know but like yeah as you can tell it's only exo shiny and super junior some random photo cards of albums and then we go to my the boys collection because like yeah i do have quite a lot of photo cards of the boys but to be honest with you guys i actually only have albums of them of one era which is like the Steeler era so i have photo cards of all the versions of the Steeler. so over here and then i have the lenties and then over here i have two random pieces of young chan from victon like i put them together on this page because yeah they're under the same label as the boys and then i have this very random uh Oh my god, I forgot his name. <laughs> Sanyeon. Sanyeon. I have this random Sanyeon uh, photo card over here. But I put him here because it's actually the start of my The Boys tour photo cards. These are like from The Boys, the B-Zone uh, in Europe. I got these uh, last year when they came to Rotterdam. They had these at the merch stand. So I was like, you know, let me just get them. But yeah, since there were 10 PCs and there's only 9 pocket page, I couldn't fit all of them. So I actually put Sanyeon like just here and just put the rest in here. They also had another set, but I didn't get that one. And then these are all photo cards from the season's greetings. So yeah, quite a lot. As you could tell, you you were actually you were getting like quite a lot of photo cards. Like damn, they really spoiled us. I really like their season's greetings, so I'm glad I got them. And look at all the photo cards. Holy damn. And then I also actually got a um, more photo cards for the season's greetings, but those are like pre-order benefits from a specific store. Don't remember that on the top of my head. So uh, all the photo cards from here and here are like like this pre-order set, uh, photo card set from the season's greetings, which I actually also got at the music store. I actually got this set before I, I even got the season's greetings. Like it's so funny. So yeah, and this is the start of my 80s collection. So there was also a time I was collecting 80s their albums, but I actually stopped at Zero Fever Part 2. So that's also the last photo card you can see. Maybe I should get Zero Fever Part 3 just to fill up this page, but no, because Zero Fever Part 3 comes with two photo cards and I don't know where to put the other photo card. But I don't get me wrong, I love 80s. I really love them. They're literally one of my favorite boy groups. Definitely in my top five, but yeah, I just really couldn't buy any albums anymore. And this is my one -us collection. Oh, Raven. I'm so sad he's out of the group, but like, at least I have one photo card of him. I have a lot of Huang Wung that was not intentional. I just happened to pull a lot a lot of him. And I actually stopped during... Wait, you can actually pick this one Kan He photo card because it just didn't fit. So it's like this and then you have this one at the back. Because I didn't want to put Kan on a separate page. So this is from the Lift era. Yeah, Lift. And that's also the time when I after i stopped buying one of their albums because yeah i had to save money so yeah and this is like my monster x and gravity mini collection you know what let me just explain you guys the rules of my small binder like if i have four or less of a specific group artist or like or together with like their other label mates if it's four or less i just put them in my small binder if it's more than four i move them to my big binder so that's why i have monster x and gravity together because 
I have six photo cards of them in total, so that's why I put them in the big binder. Also used to have Wanho here, but I was like, since Wanho is not part of Monsta X anymore, and also not- He's not really part of Starship, because he's in like, a sub-label of Starship, but either way, I was like, he's not under Starship, and he's not under Monsta X anymore, so I actually also moved Wanho to the small binder. Don't come for me, guys. And then I have Kim Woosok and one MCND photo card. I really like Kim Woosok as well, so, and I actually really loved this Tasty album. So, and I got both versions, as you can tell. And I also have one MCND photo card. This is from the Crush era, like, what's the name of the album again? MCD, M MCND Age, that's the album, <laughs> yeah. And these are like bigger inclusions. So these are like, these are the BTS photo cards of their army bomb for three. And these are postcards of the Boys uh, Stealer album. So yeah, that was it for the big boy group binder. And then the final big uh, binder we go through is the girl group binder. And yeah, this one's like a lot fuller than big boy binder. So yeah, let's go. So the first collection we have over here is Twice. So this is Twice More and More. I only have one version of More and More. But I do have the pre-order photo cards of all the three versions, so... And I actually also I actually got this one from a person on Vinted. I thought it was like a nice filler for in the middle. So yeah, these are all the uh, pre-order photo cards. I actually do like collecting their pre-order photo cards. And then this is the Ice White Open collection. I do have all uh, versions of that. And I don't really collect specific members of TWICE, I just like to put um, the photo cards together. I did do some trading here and there, because obviously since you get a lot of photo cards in TWICE or albums, there are chances you pull dupes, so yeah. And then I also have the pre-order set of that. And then this is Taste of Love. I actually also really like this one. And then this is the season's greetings. Wait, I actually should make a filler here because you can pick Yuna from Itzy there. But yeah, this is the Twice photo card set from season's greetings from last year. And this is like my mini Itzy collection. Wait, you can pick Blackpink from there. But yes, this is my mini Itzy collection because I do have some Itzy albums as well. This is It's Me, Not Shy, and uh, Guess Who. And I also have one of the pre-order benefits from Guess Who in here. So... Yeah, I also really like Itzy. And it's like my Blackpink collection. I do have all the albums apart from uh, their latest one. Like, what was it called again? Born Pink. Yeah, I don't have Born Pink. But yeah, I do have the other albums. And But I actually do have some pre-order benefits from Born Pink, which I actually got not too long ago at a music store in Leiden, the city where I go to university. They were like one euro each, so I was like, you know what, let me just get them. So I got them here and just put them there. And then I have uh, photo cards from Rosé and Lisa's solo albums. And I also have Blackpink Season's Greetings photo card set of their 2021 Season's Greetings. And then this is like my mini Kepler collection. I do have all the versions of Kepler's debut album, First Impact. And I also have the with drama pops that I got with them. Well, actually only got, got this one with the albums, but I actually did buy the other two myself just to fill up the page. But yeah, I actually didn't get any other Kepler albums apart from one of the uh, digipacks from the Troubleshooter album. And I actually pulled Bahie myself, which is so cool. And I have Diane's uh, M-Wave PC because it was a signed album. And then I have Everglow and Choyayena. Uh, these are... Both year and PCs from this one is their debut album, and this one was from the Reminiscence album. And I put Yena's PCs uh, over here as well. Obviously, Everglow and Yena are like label mates, so I was like, Let let's put them together. They were actually in my small binder first, but yeah, my rule they have more than four photo cards together, so I moved them to the big binder. It's probably a silly rule, silly rule if you guys hear it like that, but hey, that's just how I like to do it. I decided to put it together with the Kepler PCs because, yeah, I didn't want to make a whole new page just for these. Since there were only two, I was like, you know what, let me just put them together like this. So, yeah, that was actually it for the photo cards. And these are all like bigger inclusions, like twice more and more. Just put them together in here. Obviously, twice has a lot of inclusions. 
So this is all the Taste of Love inclusions. And these are the Blackpink the Album postcards. I know I actually do have also a lot of bigger inclusions in my boy group uh, albums as well, but I'm actually too lazy to go through all my boy group albums to look for bigger inclusions to put in the big boy group binder. So I was like, I'm just slowly gonna do that one. But hey, at least I have some in here already. So this is Rosé's solo album, Postcards. Lisa's Polaroid from La Lisa. And these were also from the album. And these are Itzy's It's Me pre-order postcards, which I just also put in here. And then I have Kepler's postcards and baby photos. The baby photos were first edition only. So yeah, that was it actually for my big girl group binder. And that was it for all the big binders. So let's finally move on to my A5 binders. So these are my A5 binders. So let's start with Haruwa's first, like Haruwa and Elist Wanjun. So I decided to collect N-Team's Haruwa because I really like N-Team. They're also like the rival group of n -Hypen. Like not really, but like they actually share the same universe when it comes like the webtoon and the story and stuff like the end team boys are werewolves well and hyping on vampires and yeah they are all in the same universe so yeah that's why i like end team more as well especially since there are also four members in there who used to be in island the show which created and hyper but yeah i really love Harua. he's my bias like i really literally see him as my son so i decided to collect his photo cards as well I don't know, I actually don't remember where I got this photo card from. Like, I think it was a pre-debut photo card from... I don't know where, but like, I saw it on a template. Oh, I think it's like from... Skywayman? I don't know. Yeah. And these are like from Weavers, I believe. Yeah, Weavers. Pre-debut PCs, like when he was on N Audition, the show that created N Team. This is a... what is it? I think this is a... Oh, wait, I, I remember. This is a lucky draw from their first mini album. And these are, I believe, like merch things like light stick, binder, or maybe this one's light stick. I don't know. These are like merch PCs. I impulsively joined group orders for those, so I actually don't know like where these are from. I believe this is a Weavers Global or Weavers Japan pop. Like it's transparent, so yeah. And then uh, this is all Haruwa's album photo cards from Limited A, B, Standard. And this is also Weaver's Pop, I believe. Yeah, this is also Weaver's Pop. And these are all his four uh, solo jacket PCs, which I also got them. And I actually also set up for their second mini album. But uh, the album obviously hasn't been released yet, not until June 14th. So yeah, but I'm also going to be collecting those for as well. Also set up for that already. And then this is like my mini Wonjun from Elas. From <laughs> Elas? Why do I keep saying Elas? Oh my god, I think I also said Elas earlier. Elas. Elas. Wonjun from Elas. I really like him. He's my bias. And me and my best friend Soraya, we both got into Elas at the same time. And she's a big Wonjok stan. So she also got photo cards of him. And I was like, you know what? Let me just also start a collection with for Wonjun and Wonjun was actually pretty easy to collect because since Wonjun wasn't participating in one era I had like less photo cards to find for I mean these two were actually quite hard to find because these were from the first album but I was so glad I actually managed to find this one recently well not recently like not too long ago but yeah these are all the album photo cards of Wonjun yeah these are also I think this is from their latest era Creature and these are just like random like pops or like, you know what, like special photo cards, like non-album really, if that makes sense, which I also just randomly found on Makari. Well, actually, Soraya found them, but for me, yeah, but I also looked them for myself as well. So yeah, some photo cards over there. And it's like one of the bookmarks from the War album. So yeah. And also some random photo cards in here. Oh wait, I remember where these are from. These are from the season's greetings, like 2022 and 2023, I believe. Just double check. Yeah, they are. So yeah, these are season's greetings photo cards. And these were like pops or like special photo cards, stuff like that, lucky draws. So 
yeah that was it for this like mini Haruwa and Bonjun binder next up we're gonna go to the mini boy group binder so uh, not a lot has changed because like I said I didn't really buy any more albums so I believe if you've watched my first photo card videos all those photo cards will look familiar to you because they actually did used to be in my big boy group binder but now I put them in my small binder on the first page I have on and off which is from their album what was it called again I don't know but it had beautiful beautiful a shadow track I really do miss on and off they are in the military apart from you but they're in the military right now and I really miss them and then this is like my little boots collection this is from his feel like album I, I know I can also put like photo cards on the other side but I like seeing the back so that's why it's like this and then this is AB6 Mire and uh one ho like yeah this is where i put that one one ho photo card since i removed them from my monster x like photo cards section so yeah and this is very very pentagon uh golden child and ghost nine as you can tell i only have like one or two photo cards of those groups so i'm like you know what let me just put them in my small binder oh that was a little hair and then i have bobby's uh photo cards like, I used to put Bobby and Treasure together since they were both under YG. Well, Treasure is still under YG, but, like, Icon and Bobby obviously aren't anymore. So I was like, I don't want to put Icon and Treasure together because they are not under the same company anymore. So that's why I actually moved Bobby to the small binder. I actually put Treasure also as well in the small binder. But, yeah, this is Bobby from his first... Oh, second uh, solo album. What was it called again? Not You Mad. It had You Mad as title track. With, like, Lucky Man? Yeah, it was Lucky Man. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I have his inclusions in here. And this is my little VI page. And then uh, this is just B. Oh no, wait, this is just B and this is uh, TFN. This is all Kong Daniel. And then here is God 7. It used to be between my Stray Kids photo cards. God 7 was also under JYP for a time. But even in my last photo card collection video, I was considering to put got seven elsewhere but like i didn't have the a5 binders at the time so i put them together with stray kids but yeah since they're obviously not under jyp anymore i decided to move them to the small binder okay and here are my treasure photo cards it's so funny how i have photo cards of mashiho and yadam but they are not under treasure anymore it's so sad loki but yeah which means i'll cherish this species very well especially this one since this is the first edition only photo card and i also have one asahi photo card but yeah, that was it for my small boy group binder. And then the final binder we'll be going through is the small girl group binder. So let's open it up. So first I have four From Us 9 photo cards. These are from the Midnight Guest album. So I have their album photo cards and this is a Chaeyoung and Wave BC because it was a signed album. This is a Mamamoo and Purple Kiss. And I actually do have both Jiyeon's photo card, even though she's not on their Purple Kiss anymore. These are from their debut album obviously put them together since they're label mates uh i have chonga's pcs from her currencia album iu and hyana i know they're not label mates but like you know what i was like let me just put them together or else i have space for nothing really so iu and hyana yoja idol over here oh i miss sujin i actually pulled this photo card the day after she left the group which is actually quite weird but yeah, and I have some Dreamcatcher PCs because I do have one Dreamcatcher album. And then I have two weekly photo cards from the album We Play. Yeah, We Play, the one with After School on it. I can also put them here, like, but I was like, if I put them here, then you can spot Doa there, even though this is the Dreamcatcher page. So I just put them down there. So yeah, that was it for all the binders and the photo cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was, a, it was a pretty long one. But I actually really loved filming this and showing you guys all my photo cards. So maybe in a year or two, I'll do another updated one. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, subscribe. I love you guys. And I see you next time in a new video. Bye-bye.